lesson, we are going to take what we learned from using word art and we are going to make our names look even cooler. Now, when you open up your assignment, you're going to see some examples of how you can make your name look. So when you open it, slide the bar at the bottom all the way to the right to see those samples. Okay, I'm going to center our page right here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a word art box and type my name. So I'm gonna go over to insert. I'm gonna select word art. And then for this assignment, I think most of our names will look really cool if we do it in all caps. So you can hold down the shift key as you type your name, or you can choose cap locks. All right, when you're done, hit enter. All right, now, because we're going to do this three times, I am going to raise this up. I am going to copy it by doing control C or coming over to edit and copy. And then I'm gonna control V or edit paste my name. This way I don't have to go back and retype it. All right, so with my first one selected, I'm gonna come over here and see what it is that I have to do for my lesson. Design your name with two additional layers of word art shapes. Format your name using at least two gradient colors and format your name with a dotted border of your choice and a shadow. Wow, we. Okay. So to tackle this first one, I want to make sure that you have gone and typed your name as word art. So if you haven't done that, go ahead, pause, go back and do this and duplicate it three times. Then when you come back, we're going to tackle word art. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna change the color of this one. So with it selected, I'm gonna go over to my fill and you all know that I love purple. So I'm gonna start with purple. Okay, now to use word art and to do that um, layer and drop shadow technique, I'm going to first find a font that I like. All right, so my name is selected, I've changed it. I'm gonna go up here to my fonts. Now, something I want you to try is I want you to select this first one that says more fonts. That's gonna give us more options than the ones down there and some pretty cool fonts. So here are all the fonts that we can have. And if we click on show all fonts and display, we get some really cool options. So again, that was fo all fonts choose your display or your show and to display. And when we click on them, that will add them to our um, font menu. Um, so let's just, I'm gonna select a couple here. Oh, I like Chewy. Let mm, me scroll down, there's a lot more, a lot more options. Ooh, Bungie looks pretty cool. I like lemon and I think that's it for now. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to select OK. And then for my drop down menu, they're all going to be over here. So let's go back and find that lemon one. And we're going to try that one for my first one. All right. So I'm also going to make this a little bit smaller so that it fits on my page. And I am going to increase the border on this. So with it selected, I'm going to go over to my border thickness and I'm going to select this. Well, you can't even see my name, but I have a fix for that. All right. So I am going to go ahead. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to control copy. I'm going to make a duplicate actually, and then control paste. So now do you see how I have two? All right. I'm going to line them up so they're on top of each other. Then I'm going to go ahead and select my border weight. I'm going to make it 16, and then I'm going to send it to the back. So we go up to arrange, order, send to back. And do you see how that changed it so that I have a really cool thick border, but I can still see the letters of my name? All right, you go ahead and do that one. Here's the steps. 
Go ahead and find a font you like. Then once you've changed it, you are going to duplicate it. So control C for copy or edit copy, edit paste. Change your border thickness on the one that's on top. And then go ahead and arrange it. Do that now and then come back. All right, so our next direction here says format your name using at least two gradient colors. All right, so I'm going to select my name and I'm going to choose a different font. And I am going to make it so that it fits on my page here. There we go. Oh, let's see. Now, I need to format my name using at least two gradient colors. So if you click over here with gradient, you're going to see that you have some options. Now, you can pick that or you can go over here to custom and we can find our own custom color. So um, I'm going to come over here to this teal. And you see how I have this gradient bar right down here? Well, if I click OK, this is how it's going to look with that gradient. But let's say I want to go from my favorite color purple to this gradient. I'm going to come up here to my fill color. I'm going to go ahead and create custom. I'm going to add a gradient stop. So with my color that I want to start with selected, I'm going to go to add. I'm going to change it to purple. And then I'm going to drag my st stop color all the way down here. So I'm going to go from a range of colors. Okay. So to do that, all I had was to, to add a stop and click on where I wanted that color to be. If you want to choose a third color, we can go back, we can add a stop, and then we can click on this end bar right here. And let's say I want to end on this nice pink color. There we go. All right, so I have three gradient colors in mine. I want you to go back. I want you to go to your fill bucket. The default is solid, so you're going to select a gradient, custom, and you are going to add a color down here, or if you want, add a stop. Go ahead and try that now. All right, last one is to format your name with a dotted border of your choice and a shadow. All right, so let's come back up here. Let's select another fun font. Hmm, how about Bungie? That's kind of cool looking, huh? All right, so um, it's I've sized it so that it fits on my screen. Let me bring this up a little bit here. So um, first I'm going to pick a color that I like. Hmm, how about purple? I know, big surprise. Okay. Now I am going to go to format with this one selected and I am going to select borders and lines and then border type. Now here are some options. Right now it's on single, but I can choose a double border like that or I can choose a triple border that will look like that or from format borders and lines, border type, a thin thick, and even a thick thin. All right, so the one that I liked best, best was this thick thin. Okay, and then if I wanna add a shadow to it, I'm gonna come up here to format options and I am going to select drop shadow. If I want to play around with it even more, I can use my sliders to increase the distance of that shadow, the angle that my shadow is from my name, and even the color of my shadow. All right, you go and you create a different border on your last one and a shadow. Remember, borders are found under format borders and lines, and border type. And to get your shadow, you select Format Options and select the drop shadow and the drop down that goes with it. Don't forget, when you're done, to submit it in Google Classroom.